Got an upset stomach? Might be that fast food you wolf down at lunch, or it could be an ulcer. There's not a single cause for ulcers, but the condition can strike your horse as fast as it can you. Dr. Kenton Morgan of Bear Animal Health is here with some modern medical solutions to this common problem. We're all aware that stomach ulcers is a common medical problem in people. But did you know that this medical problem was also common in horses? The incidence of gastric or stomach ulcers is especially high in foals and young horses in training. The signs of stomach ulcers in foals can include grinding of the teeth, colic, drooling of saliva, interrupted nursing, and lying on their back. Diarrhea may also be associated with this problem. Signs in adult horses typically include a general decrease in performance, appetite, and body condition. Recurrent colic can be a sign of this problem as our attitude changes in the horse. But it is also important to know that many horses with ulcers may show very few signs at all. If your veterinarian suspects your horse may have an ulcer, he or she will likely do an endoscopic examination. An endoscope is a long flexible tube that is passed through the nose of the horse, down the esophagus, all the way to the stomach. This allows your veterinarian to visualize the inside of the lining of the stomach and identify any ulcers that may be present. This is an actual endoscopic examination of the stomach of a horse with gastric ulcers. You can see the ulcerated, angry looking areas compared to the normal appearance of the healthy portion of the stomach lining. New research has pointed to another, less invasive diagnostic test utilizing the absorption of a special sugar called sucrose. This test may be available in the near future. Fortunately, your veterinarian has an FDA approved product to treat gastric ulcers in horses. This product is given orally and will help heal the ulcer in only three to four weeks. If you suspect your horse has a gastric ulcer, contact your veterinarian. He or she is the best person to accurately diagnose and treat this condition. I'm Dr. Kenton Morgan, and remember, always keep your horse's health first.